Hey folks, welcome back to Fallout 4. We're back at the Drumlin Diner, and let me tell you, I'm kind of an idiot. So, I grabbed all our extra stuff that I wanted to sell to Trudy here. And I remembered that we had this M392 DMR, you know, the fucking Halo DMR, chambered in 5mm, which we have a ton of, and it's fully automatic and very high damage. So, I upgraded it a little bit, it's very nice, we're gonna be using it. Like it. It's good. I can rest easy knowing that Wolfgang is rotten in hell. Thank you. So I've let's quickly sell to All Trudy salty. and strip her inventory of anything even remotely useful. Just want to sell all this stuff that I don't intend to use or break down. 209 versus. Selling that. Keep one of those machetes. That, sell that, sell that. So. Now, I know she doesn't have enough caps for all of this. However, like I said, we're going to strip her inventory of anything even remotely useful. Uh, I also remembered to grab the scrap zapper, so we're going to clear out Starlight in a well. We're doing pretty well in terms of resources. Uh, I checked, we should have enough nuclear material now for our armor we're trying to build. Which means our only limiter is uh, ballistic fiber. Good. Means we should have our, our good armor soon. I'm just gonna quickly even this out to make sure that she has enough uh, money enough ammo to make this worth it. That, that, all the 10 millimeter, only take the 5.56, five, fusion cores, selling. Random food and stuff, keep the Nuka Cola. Oh, the cams? Where are bobby pins? Oh, because they're part of the trade, right. This we can sell. Anything else we want to get rid of? Let's see. Take the shotgun shells and much of her 45 as we can get our hands on. I want the middle of the bar, please, Fallout Jesus. There we go. Right. That's pretty good. That gets rid of a bunch of stuff that we don't need. Let's head down to the Starlight Drive-In and clear that out as well, like we planned to. Or I accidentally put the uh, the scrap zapper in my chems box. This DMR is a really nice addition to our arsenal. It's very, very strong. It's fully automatic. And it uses a very plentiful ammo source. 5mm tends to be found in large quantities uh, because it's a, a heavy weapon ammo as far as the game's concerned. So it wants to give you a ton of it so you can use your fucking minigun or whatever. And that's not what we're using it for. We're using it in a rifle. Get our scrap zapper out here. Very quickly go through... And just scrap everything that we can scrap here. Everything. This is going to be a ton of steel because there's a billion cars and stuff. That all goes away. Bit more junk to scrap. Come on. 
It's taking a second to charge because there's so much stuff. Are there any fences? No. Work. Thorny crafted objects. And pick the scrap there. Back up. Pop into the workshop. And we'll take everything out. Cool. That should have given us a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm just going to give this place one more, just short once over. So obviously, it did miss a few small items. That's going to set that off, but I can no longer get in without setting it off because the giant chunk of the drive in that you have to climb over actually got scrapped. Apparently that's scrap a -pour. Not entirely sure why. I totally forgot that that happens before I went and did the scrap zapper. But hey, too late now. So it did miss a few bits and pieces. We can just go through and pick it all up. Pistol there, some ammo. All that. I wish that it picked this stuff up for you, but unless it's in an inventory, it really won't, unfortunately. Well, uh, the Starlight Drive-In is pretty much cleared out. I don't really intend to use it for anything. It's not super useful to us. I don't really build settlements. We may do stuff with it later once we have the ability to build automatons. But uh, for now, I just want to keep heading east. Do we have the right quest selected? We do. We're actually pretty far south. Okay. So all we need to do now is head directly east. Oh, that's a super mutant super fighter. First time we've run into super mutants. I'll take that mini nuke. Yes, please. Wonder what this group is uh, doing out here. Wonder if they were one of the like kill squads that sometimes get. Yeah, they were. They've got orders on them, which basically just say, "Hey, go out and kill." Good deal with this little house over here. Radiated looks like. Yeah, we're gonna give that a wide berth. Very irradiated, Jesus. Pop our night vision on, so we can at least see. Mole rats. Take the nuclear material off them. Super good, super valuable. Why are you guys just hanging around a landfill exactly? Let's do this. Whoops. <laughs> oh well. More for us, I guess. God, it's so nice having an automatic rifle. Actually, hide. Everything off these settlers. We're gonna go in there and clear out that mole rat den. That sounds like a great time and some something that's definitely not a poor idea. These irradiated, uh, fucking glowing mole rats, though. Oh boy, so much nuclear material. Yes, please. Turn that light on, off, so we can actually see. Counterintuitive, but hey. I did um, keep our 38 rifle that we made last episode. I kept that on us. Because we're going to burn through 5mm. I'm sure. Ooh, a Sega 12. They hang on to that. That's kind of a nice shotgun. 
We do still have that Benelli back at the base, but uh, I don't really have enough shells to justify using it, in my opinion. That's a lot of glowing mole rats we killed. Jesus. This place for scrap. Are there some in the nuclear cola machine? No. Fusion cells, I'll take those. Stim pack and some water. Good find. Quick save. So how much further east do we have to go? Not too far. A little bit of a walk, but it's not terrible. And uh, it should be, I think we're looking for an abandoned office. I know exactly what we're looking for now that I think about it. It's been a little while since I did this mod's quests, but I should be able to remember where we need to go. And trust me, it's going to be worth it. It's going to solve a few of our problems why I added it. I don't know why I didn't have it in my mod list to begin with. It's a really good set of mods. Fucking ghouls. For pre-war money, I'll definitely take that. And again, just looking for passwords. So I believe that the office we're looking for is in a town, which should be this way. This is the first time we've actually made any significant travel above ground and not through the uh, subway. I went through the subway initially because A, good loot, B, lots of enemies, so experience, quick level ups. But uh, we need to be above ground for this. Whoa, that sounds nasty. Let's head right toward it. Oh! Thank God for this rifle. We would have been dead right there. There's two fucking sentry bots. Jesus Christ. Good loot, though. The fuck is the deal with this place? Pretty well appointed trailer. Oops. Again, accidentally sitting down. God, that's such a long animation when you don't intend to do it. Regrets, why not? Two sentry bots, man. This rifle is really something else. So, right down here could be what we're after. And dodge the fucking super boy. Drop that suicider before he come, becomes an issue. Hey, level 18. Right, uh, let's do gun nut rank 4. That seems like a good choice. You guys might be wondering why are you not doing rank 4 of Scrounger? Because I almost never exhaust magazines and it only procs if you run out of ammo in your current magazine. I reload way too obsessively for that perk to do me any good. Unfortunately. So, we're not going to clear out Med for Memorial right now. Uh, I don't really feel like dealing with the super mutants. Ooh, sense. Hello. Definitely take the EGLs that they've got on them. I believe that this subway station down here is absolutely full of sense. Stuff in there. By order of the Institute, offline. 
I order the Institute. Get fucked. Boy, we're discovering a bunch of new locations. I have to come back sometime and clear all these out. Potentially unpleasant because in my experience where there's one dog there's about 12 more412 Rex. That's a nice Russian revolver. If you've played Battlefields, I believe it was three, you should know exactly what revolver that is. It's the standard sidearm for that game. Hey, hey, our objective and step one in our uh, Enclave quest. I'm hoping this is the place that I'm thinking that it is. There should be some raiders in here. A bunch of loot. An absolute shit ton of loot. Huh? Yep, raiders. Shit. I was right. What's up, bitch? Yeah, we're gonna have to clear this out. This is a lot of fucking chunk. Oh, you motherfuckers don't know what you're living on top of, and that's hilarious. You were saying? Get dunked on. Right. That should be all the raiders in here, if I'm not wrong. And again, absolute fucking shit ton of junk to pick up. Jesus Christ, there's just so much of it. It's all over the place. It's all over the floor. It's all over the raiders. It's all over everything. We don't really need the aluminum, but it's rarer than steel, so I'm going to take it. So these places are, uh, they're, it's like an investment office, which is why it's covered in Nuka-Cola memorabilia, because I guess they had a deal with Nuka-Cola. Ooh, Cola, Tesla, and you, huh? What the fuck does that do? Ooh, it's a, a, boost, a boost to intelligence for a short time. Hang on to that, that could be useful. Light glitch with my fucking flashlight. Happens sometimes. A bunch of men's hats, that's nice. Places are absolutely full of loot. That's why I love this mod. They did not scamp on the rewards. Fucking not safe tight. here. I wonder what's in there. Let's see if we can get it open. Damn it. Hey, nice. Yes. Ooh, that is a lot of mentats, Jesus. That's some good fucking selling fodder is what that is. You get a lot of ammo for those. Let's take a step back here. I know we're ignoring the quest for... Again! I keep doing this. Jesus. Stand up.
Ten packs. Nice. Flashlight's not bugged out anymore. Well, uh, I'm actually going to pause the recording and clear this place out because there's just an unbelievable amount of junk here. I'll be back when I'm ready to hit up the thing we're actually here for. Okay, folks, so this place was about just floor to ceiling with fucking scrap. I found, no lie, about 500 rounds of 5mm ammo in a box. Uh, I, I don't know why that was there. Also, there's a Pip-Boy here. What the fuck that is for, or what it does, but hey, we've got an extra pit boy now. I wonder if you can equip that as like a replacer. Uh, anyway, down here is the whole reason we're here. Thankfully, this water isn't, uh, isn't terribly irradiated. Oh god, more scrap. Must take it all. I also found about 12 stim packs in, uh, in various first aid boxes. There's just so much stuff down here, it's absolutely nuts. I, originally when I played this game, for a long time I played it just ignoring crafting requirements. I would run a bat file that would give me, hey, a billion of every fucking crafting item. So I never really paid attention to scrapping. You know, junk, things like that, that were in areas. I never noticed how much stuff there was in this particular mod. Uh, I knew it was a lot, but I never really noticed how much. So that's this room. I have a quick once over. I'm sure I missed a few things. Hey, more Simpex. Wait. Right up here, we follow the fucking can highway and don't get blown up by frag mines. Locks really strong. This door. Open, which That's we managed it. to do. Let's do a super stim pack. Oh, that's super good. <laughs> Certainly not much in the way of enemies compared to how much loot we're getting. Hey, I'm not complaining. All of this is going to be super useful to us. We'll break it all down. Ton of resources. So you may be saying this looks like a little bit too high tech for a fucking investment box. I would be inclined to agree with you. Let's see what the hell's going on here with this big ass server. Client account subsystems. Client 46, Bill Gerald. Active assets 12,000. 6,000. These are just client lists. Backed up. Maintenance logs. Uh, it's been three days since our new employer, Poseidon Energy, took over this building's lease and already they're messing everything up. First, it was the excavation team poking around the sewers below the building, causing so much noise that we've now lost over a quarter of our clients. Top it all off, they've now installed some sort of hatch and hidden it below our servers. Where if things don't improve, I'll quit. End of log. There is a hidden hatch somewhere in this room. Right over here. And that slides that server rack back. This is access to this survivor's bunker down here. Find out what's in here, shall we? I'm gonna take this glowing fungus because I can use it for uh right away actually. more fucking loot. Just so much. All the time. Uh, this is obviously a military bunker and as you can tell by the little flag, it's Enclave. You can hear there's some ghouls and shit in here. Uh, they're through that door. We're gonna have to deal with them in a moment. Now let's deal with them real quick.
Is it classified as a high security area? All personnel will have gamma clearance for violating Section 21 of the Internal Security Act. Violators will be subject to court martial. Oh, let's violate the hell out of it. Where'd that go go? And right here is what we came down here for, which is a database terminal. Cyber Energy Government Archive Database Terminal 21A. Again, Court Martial, Government Access, same thing. Lima Access Subsystems. Gives us more coordinates to a SATCOM array. Communication Uplink Subsystems. Department of the Army, Research and Development Field Operations Sector 693R. Array status operational, signal strength 76%, origin Chicago High Command. All surviving personnel proceed to sector 693R for reassignment. Make sure you've retired your Mark II and Mark III advanced power armor. Revert back to your Mark I suits to ensure civilians do not alert the Brotherhood of Steel of covert enclave operations that are continuing on the East Coast. We also have intel to suggest that the individual responsible for the defeat in DC has migrated to the Commonwealth, last known location was near Site Delta in the Glowing Sea. If you played Fallout 3, you should know exactly who they're talking about. The one and only Lone Wanderer, the protagonist of Fallout 3, who beat the living hell out of the Enclave at the end of the game. According to this mod, a pretty neat concept, after the game ended, he came here. Uh, next episode, we're going to continue following the track they left for us, and uh, I'm going to loot the hell out of this place. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.